Well, all right, y'all. We're back out here in the garage, and uh, we're going to try to work on these bucket sets for these 220s. I've never actually made these before, but I've watched several videos, and I've done some research on them, and I've got an idea of how I want them to look and how I want them to operate. So we're going to get started on that, and uh, hopefully later on in the season, we'll get some footage of uh, using these things and hopefully catching a couple otter out of them. So let's get started. All right, so what I did is I got a uh, couple cheap buckets from Lowe's. One of the things I was concerned about was the colors, but from everything that I've watched, uh, I've seen them use blue buckets, white buckets, camouflage. It really don't seem to make a difference. And in some of these river bottom areas, seeing a bucket of all different colors washed up is pretty common. So I don't think otter are gonna get overly suspicious about it. And if they do, they're probably not gonna be interested in a bucket set anyway. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these handles off and to make that easy, I just got my little bolt cutters here. And we can get as close as we can. Just want to break. There it goes. All right, let's just get these little pieces out. Oh, that one just fell out. All right, so that's all we've got. Plain old bucket. All right, so I've got one of my 220s right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set it. But I'm going to set it in a way where I keep my safeties on. I'm definitely going to be careful doing this. Any kind of bear trap. If I'm doing it, I'm just uh, pulling the safeties out a little bit more. set 220. Now you can see how it's going to fit in this bucket perfectly. Now what I'm going to do now is I need to cut some sections out for it to fit down inside of there and the best way that I've decided to do that is find these holes from where I had everything or from where I had the uh, handles. Line it up like this. I've got a sharpie. I'll mark here and here, here and here. I'm just eyeballing it, and that's that. Now, I'm going to cut those little sections out. All right, now all I'm going to do is I'll take my jigsaw and just cut out these little lines. I'm going to cut all the way to this little lip right here. So, where my little mark is. Second mark. All I'm gonna do is take the jigsaw, turn it side. That's one. Let's knock this other one out real quick. That's it. Two cut holes in a bucket. That's simple. Alright, so we've got our, uh, our little slits cut inside of the bucket. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and determine that one of these sides is going to be up, one's going to be down. We'll say this is going to be our down side. So we're going to take some holes. Or, sorry, we're going to take a drill. <laughs> and we're going to drill some holes. All this is going to do is just help the bucket sink a little faster. Alright, that should be plenty right there. Just enough to kind of help it sink when we put it in. The way our trap fits in this, we've got our trap that's already set. And we just slide it into those grooves. And that's it. Now let's say we've got this thing. We'll probably put a rock in it or something, or some rocks on the side to keep it stabilized. We'll take our uh, safeties off. And that right there is going to be our bucket set. Now, old Mr. Otter sees some bait or smells something in the back. He sticks his head in here and tries to figure out, you know. If he can get that fish back there or not, 
And as he tries to push through... It's too late for Mr. Otter. The last thing I did on this bucket was I put two little holes right here and I ran some of my trapping wire down inside and just kind of looped it around this way I could take like a brim or something and just run it through its gills or its eyes and hang it back there for bait so that it would be perfectly displayed when he comes up to the bucket and it would kind of be out of the way and everything and anyway just a little idea for a bait keeper all right y'all that's it uh, it's that simple. I've heard of a lot of people having a lot of success with these. Uh, like I said, I personally never tried it myself, but uh, y'all know if I do any good or not, because I'll definitely set some of these on camera, and uh, hopefully we'll get a, a chance to see these things in action. So, till next time, y'all.